All right, metronome training, doing a squat to press. What is metronome training? Well, if you remember the old school metronome that you put on top of a piano, it counts time. Tick, tock, tick, tock. You don't have to buy an actual metronome anymore. They have free apps, and I downloaded one off the uh, Google Play Store. Um, I have an Android phone. It's called Metronome Beats. I've used it in the past. It's a good one. It's, uh, it's never given me any problems. What you're going to do is you're going to set it to a count, a number of beats per minute, and you're going to follow that count as you do the exercise I'm going to show you here, okay? It's, it's an exercise that naturally has four movements. Metronome Beats is set up unless you change it for four, four times, so it's one, two, three, four, repeat, one, two, three, four, etc., etc., and you follow that in the movements of the exercise, okay? And you choose a beat that's fast enough, like I said, where by the end of two minutes, you actually can't keep up, okay? You're finding yourself gassed out. You feel like you're working at about a seven or eight out of 10, where one is like I'm sitting on the couch and 10 is like, oh man, I, I couldn't push myself any harder. And, and you're, you're done, okay? So two minutes, and then I'm probably gonna prescribe something like a one minute break, although it may differ from person to person, and then you do it again. And you just keep doing it until you can't do it anymore. That's, that's one way of doing it, okay? So what is a squat to chest press, okay? Well, I've got a resistance band here, and you can do this without a resistance band, by the way, but you, to, to, to get a good workout up top, if you could get a resistance band, it would be good. But what you're gonna do is start in chest press position, which is my hands are facing forward, my elbows are up, and I'm right in line with my chest, okay? I'm gonna squat down. I have to be leaning a bit forward here or else the band's gonna pull me backwards because I have some tension on it to start, okay? Come up and I press and then back. So see the count. It's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Naturally a four count exercise and it works the whole body so it's really good, okay? It's gonna tax you fairly quickly. As you squat, you wanna stay on your heels, feet are shoulder width apart, Toes are pointed out about 10 or 15 degrees, and you bend the knees and the hips at the same time, keeping your back straight and your core tight. Try and come down so that your upper thighs are parallel with the ground, okay? If not, if you can't do that, come down to here, whatever works. Having your hands back here and then at the top, you do the press. And you see the press, your hands come together, and then they come up wide beside your chest, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the metronome, and then I'll show you how this works using the metronome, okay? So I have it going only 70 beats per minute. I could do this faster, but this is for demonstration purposes. You hear it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the exit. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay? So like I said, you want to pick a, a pace that's going to challenge you enough so that at about the two minute mark, you're not going to be able to stay in tune in time with the metronome, okay? And that's where you'll know that you've reached the target of working at about seven or eight out of 10, okay? You've really got your heart rate up. You've blown through the cardiovascular training uh, range and you're really kind of anaerobic now, okay? And anaerobic, which means without air training, you can only really do it for short bursts, okay? So that's it. That's a squat to press, a squat to chest press using the metronome app.